That's the thing, there's so many stuff, there's so much stuff to worry about. You know, the more you know, the more you don't know and shit. You know, like a lot of people be telling me, Dave, you know, you just gotta relax. The racism thing be bugging you too much. And I be thinking about it. Sometimes shit will happen. You know, a lot of black people can relate to this. Have you ever had something happen that was so racist that you didn't even get mad? You were just like, God damn, that was racist. That was racist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was so blatant. You were just like, wow. Like, it almost like it didn't even happen to you. It was like a fucking movie. That was a, like he was watching Mississippi Burning. Wow. That happened to me. I, I was in Mississippi. I was in Mississippi doing a show, and I go to the restaurant to order some food, and uh, I say to the guy, I say, I would like to have, and before I even finish my sentence, he says, the chicken. I said, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I could not believe it. I could not believe that shit. This man was absolutely right. I said, how did he know? that I was gonna get some chicken. I asked him, I said, how you know that? How'd you know I was gonna get some chicken? He looked at me like I was crazy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Now everybody knew as soon as you walked through the goddamn door, you are gonna get some chicken. There is no secret down here that blacks and chickens are quite fond of one another. Then I finally understood what he was saying and I got upset. I wasn't even mad, I was just upset. I wasn't ready to hear that shit. All these years, I thought I liked chicken because it was delicious. <laughs> Turns out I'm genetically predisposed to liking chicken. I said, like, why? I got no say in the man. I got ruined chicken for me. I'm scared to eat it in public. I don't I want somebody to see me and say something. You know what I mean? Like you be eating some chicken. Look at him. He loves it. Just like it said in the encyclopedia. Look how happy he looks. Sometimes the world be too much to deal with. That show business be crazy. That's where the cultures really collide. Show business bring a lot of races together. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. This is one thing that happens that's funny. You know, sometimes I'll be on a business call, right? You know, like with a, with a lawyer or something. You know, my lawyers be white. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> they're like, we'll be on a call, right? And they'll be like, oh, okay, Dave, we're gonna, we're gonna close the deal. Is that fine with you? I'll be like, yeah, that's good for me. Great. Great. You have a good weekend, Dave. I'll be like, all right, you too, man. Peace. Oh, all right. Bye-bye. <laughs> they don't know what to say, right? So sometimes, like, sometimes I'll make up shit that's not even slang just to see how they handle it and shit. It'll be the same business code. All right, we're going to close the deal. Is that fine with you, Dave? Yeah, sounds good to me. Great. You have a good weekend, Dave. All right, buddy, zip it up and zip it out. Oh. All right, zip it doo doo bye bye. Sometimes, you know, sometimes racism works out in black people's favor. Now, it doesn't happen 